Hello everyone, and welcome back to Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess. This is Bandit Ryu. <sighs> and Nick Riddle having a fit. I'm yawning. Let me get sand heads. Wow, you you suck. <laughs> Why don't you just run through with like just normal sword swings? You know that'll work, right? You don't need to great spin. Well, if they would if they dropped more enemies. Like, this is his plan to just drop a bunch of enemies on Link? I don't get it. What is this gonna do? Alright, let's end. Alright, so what do I want? I want. Ironically, I want that and that up. Ew. It's gonna be a weird fight. I don't think you've used the boomerang outside of, like, picking things up. Since well, this fight, it'll be a strange fight. You will be very confused. You fight every boss in the game again, don't you? No. No. We just fight Zant as every boss in the game. Zant as every boss in the game? So. That's what I meant. Let's end this now. Do you see his mouth yet? Yep. Or do you see it already? Yeah, you saw it already. Zint. Yeah, bitch. His line is always great. I don't understand what the fuck Zant's beef is. I do know that he looks fucking weird. And he's just strange. Yeah, that's nice. Like, what are you doing? Seriously. He's stretchy. And met. Too close. Like, why? He's not even a high official of the Twilight. And he's just... Fucking angry for no reason. Sure. Sure you did. So this is what you get for sealing Ganon in the sacred realm. As much as it was seemed like a good idea at the time, like why would you do that? No one knows things live there. I like this. He just headbutts his head against the floor repeatedly. He has fingers. He does. That are like... Tendrils? Yeah. That is like the biggest tantrum. Me. Now, correct me if I'm wrong, but if you saw a meteor right in front of your face, you'd probably walk away from it, right? Well, it looks like magic, though. I wouldn't fucking stay near that. Dude, it's a Triforce of Fireball. <laughs> um. Yeah, right? That doesn't make any sense! Of course it was Ganon. I like how Ganon, someone in the light world, has better dark magic than... What he had? Apparently the strongest mage... In the Twilight Realm. Oh, it's so creepy. The whole sound, everything. I can't wait for Garahim. <laughs> I, I can't wait. <laughs> I do not like Garahim. I think it's common knowledge. Dude, this actually. guy limbos. How do you get the helmet back on? Well, it comes on and goes as he pleases, I assume. Shadow and light does not make darkness. It actually just makes light. <laughs> King Zan. He has ten forms, I think. He's probably the most forms out of any Zelda boss in the history of forever. Well, because it's every boss in the game. 
Let's just tell you what weapons to use. Pretty much. The Great Spin can pretty much take down all of his forms in one straight take. There's other things. For now, I just have to wait. Second form down, let's go. Down to equip arrows. No, I believe this is the underwater section, yeah. Hook shot. And yes, claw shots are nice. I mean, that's vanity right there, but okay. Um. It's gonna be a long fight if he keeps this shit up. Okay. Just like the Poe sisters, they surround you. You gotta figure out which one is which. Do not equip the iron boots for this specific, uh, specific part. Because you wanna be able to get close to him, and then you can hit him out of it. Round three! Move, I'm Zed. We are four. Forest. With Oog's music and everything. important to keep your health full for this fight, but it's not too critical, especially if you have potions. Gotcha. Oh, I could have ended it with that. Come on, Zan. I believe a lot of enjoy this fight. This fight's awesome. Oh my god, stop moving. Oh, it's close. It's close. Just aim in front of him. I know. That's how I got on the first time. I just don't understand why I, I stopped moving during that second one. Because I was hoping my momentum would carry me over to the spin. Got it. You're welcome. <laughs> Thank you. Go! Oh, you're open! Alright, so now it should be... Yep. Final round. This is six. Yeah, so six rounds. This actual is that? Yeah. Alright, so for this point, I'm just going to kill him.
And Zant is dead. That was a lot of damage, I bet. Yeah. Mostly the, the Great Spin will take him out of any attack that he does. So sitting there under the magic armor where he can't even get touched out of it is the easiest way to beat Zant. At least his final form. Who is a giant chicken? He is. And now we have all the few shadows back. They're purple now. Now remember, Midna didn't get to feel the whole thing for very long, so she couldn't tell what kind of magic it was. <laughs> yeah, because the armor is traitorous. Good job, Zen. I'm nice talking to you and Midna. And they did. So, you fucked up. Oh well, you're stuck as an imp. Well, she doesn't care, and now you get to be popped like a balloon. She fucking obliterates him. Yup. We have some crazy ass shit now. Too bad I'm gonna swing my sword again instead of you blowing him up. That's not entirely true. You swing your sword at a lot of things. That is true though. I do hit That's things. That's a long up. fight. Yep. Yeah, because she's still kind of dead, isn't she? Last heart container. That's twenty. Why are you wearing the armor? Because I don't care about money at this point, and I look damn good in magic armor. Magic armor looks ridiculous. I like it. Link it's... looks fat. <laughs> All of a sudden, this really. Look at him. I did. I didn't think he looked that fat. He looks quite large. <laughs> that was a lot of heart increases from that last save. Okay, if you've got any other piece of art, there's nothing else to do in this while it rolled, so there's no real reason to stay here. Yay. So let's go straight to Hyrule Castle. There's no more delays. Uh, at this point, if you take the light spin attack to the Cave of Ordeals, it'll be a lot easier for you to deal with a lot of the enemies there, especially because 20 hearts is better than 18. There's two more. So... Doing your second run now would be preferable to any other time in the game, especially if you want to fight the four Dark Nuts in a row. Even though they can be very easily killed with just three Great Spins well timed. But I'm not about it, I don't care. I would like to waste a lot of money before this point, but you never know. There's a lot of treasure chests inside of Hyrule Castle that have just obscene amounts of money in them. Yay! So. I'm gonna go down to a late maybe 500, and hopefully I'll survive the first few chests. Because they're all at least 100 or 200. And uh, now that we have all the pole souls, let's stop by Giovanni's one last time to see what's going on with him. So does no one really still notice that like Hyrule Castle is inside of Molasses? Everyone did. Oh, I can, I, you can talk to the townspeople and they'll tell you, I'm, I don't know what the barrier is, but it must be something important. And I was like... What? what kind of crap is that? That's a very strange way of saying You're it. You're really just going to wear the medic over the whole time? Yeah. It will not matter. I will always have the money. Except for maybe the end fight. Then I maybe not have money. Dude, it's okay. You use fishing rod. Please? I, okay, I'll show that off. It even sounds like Link is wearing armor. And this might be the only game I can think of that Link has armor the entire time. Until Hyrule Warriors, obviously. Hyrule Warriors has... He has a big scarf. Yeah. That's not really... He has armor, though. Like, specific armor. 
Oh, right, I'm not allowed to transform. Sorry. And he's back! Why Still... was he so fat before? Because he was greedy. Alright, so now every time you come into this room, you can get 200 rupees. But, uh, obviously, it's, there's no point, especially this late in the game, for you to have that much money, unless... I mean, I might... Even... I don't even think I need to buy supplies before the end of the dungeon. There's no point. There's no reason for me to fucking ever buy anything ever again. I think the only real point to it would be having... Um, fully a uh, fully stocked armor, yeah. Like even having max inventory wouldn't be enough to prepare you for Hyrule Castle. There's so many treasure chests with so many inventory items that you're literally. So what are you doing here? Um, taking a look and see what happened to. There's a reason. Just show. Okay. Aww. Yeah, his girlfriend leaves him. So even after all that time and you get him back to being a human again, it's completely pointless. I need to give you money. Yeah, but now you can just keep going back to, and talking to his cat Jangle and he'll give you 200 rupees just for stopping by. So that's always nice. I mean, it's not necessary at all, but it's nice. Like, there's never a reason to have that much money. If you never- So Minda's gonna blow up the molasses. Yeah. Yes. Hyrule Castle surrounded by molasses, or amber. Because I refuse to call that stupid looking thing magic. <laughs> Zant put this on, right? Yeah. How come it's still here when he's dead? Because Ganon was supplying Zant with magic. I guess. Hello, I am Minna. I have angry face. Look at my hats. <laughs> my hats. And they are taking over me. I am now a dark nut. Actually, that'd be pretty beast. But I guess that's what Phantom Hourglass is for. Oh, I'm sorry, Spirit Tracks. What the fuck? Midna, stop. Midna. Midna. <laughs> Where are you going? Becoming bigger. Hello, I am Jello Midna. Creature. You know the great thing about this scene is Link is just like, yeah, she transformed into a giant octopus. He's Whatever. Do you fight? Oh, that would be ridiculous. She still has control of herself. Huh? Oh. How did she get the spear of Longinus? I don't know. She's exploded die and then Minda from Nick plays again. <laughs> Why? How do you like that song? It makes me sad. Because Minda being dead, half dead, is just what I need. Okay then, that was <laughs> beyond <laughs> creepy. That was the look, she said. It is rape time. No. Maybe. No. Not at all. But I like her. In the worst way. Does she have two eyes? Yeah. Doesn't her helmet have, like, one of them covered, though? Yes. But it doesn't mean she doesn't have two eyes. Well, you don't know. Now it's raining. You exploded the magic so hard it started raining. Yeah. That makes sense. No. I needed to go through animation to push this door. Yes, he did. Okay, this is it. The final stretch, Hyrule Castle, and all of its complete completely long entirety. Why don't you just walk along the outside like at the beginning? Because there's a lot of stuff to do, and I really would rather not just, waste time. Just run to the top. GG. Anywho, that's all for this edition of Let's Play The Legend of Zelda, Twilight Princess. This is Bandit Ryu. Was that three doors? Yeah. Really? And Nick Riddle. Really? Signing out.